Greetings everybody, Thetimix here. Welcome back to Let's Play Motorsport Manager, Surging Absurdity. And uh, it's time for race four. We're a quarter of the way through the season. They solid, but uh, not exactly spectacular lead over Spartan, who it appears is our closest rival. Atsuno and Hammer uh, essentially tied for third. And, uh, yeah, so Munich is up next. Take a look at our mail real quick. And uh, 12 hours, uh, less than usual. Let's see what Channel 6 has to say. Holgerson beaten by Hashimoto. Would you consider bringing her in next season? Perhaps, but it's a little early to be talking about silly season. So... Our driver's not uh, not too happy with that answer, but they'll get over it. And Hashimoto wins the uh, thriller over Lori again back in Sydney. Okay. So, yeah, I've got to decide. What am I missing here? There's... Oh yeah, the brakes, they're telling us that the brakes finished. And that's our last brake build. So before we even do the repairs, I want to design more parts. Uh, the, now, the engine, we don't really have enough money to really go hard after an engine. But I'd like to get the suspension up. The only thing that we actually aren't best at right now is the suspension. So, they're not that expensive. Uh, they do take a little bit more time. But they're actually, um, you know, cheap the, the, the cheapest part. So let's take a look at this. And of course, we'll just want to take, um, not take that 50k expense. And um, take that tiny bit off that we're going to get uh, time-wise. 0.3 days, but hey, it's 0.3 days we didn't have before. So we're going to work on building up the suspensions. And there's our repairs. So let's check in on the factory. And here um, we've got. Let's let's get our parts in place because we did just finish the brakes. So we're gonna want to go up there. I want to make sure bags has the best of everything. I think I've already done that, but I just want to double check here. And it looks like, yep, he does. Uh, we want to max out the reliability on that brake system, and then everything else, well, let, let's just see how much that's going to take first, for one thing at a time, because I think we've got, yeah, we've got everything else reliability that is, um, is totally at the best it's going to be. 13 days for the race, so we don't need everybody in there. Looks like about there. So we can put about two-thirds of the staff into improvements. And let's see, who's... Yeah. West is the best for performance. Okay, so what do we want here? Well, we want uh, the gearbox, the brakes, and the suspension all to be boosted for this race. Gearbox is already at the best it can be. So let's throw the suspensions in there. And our new brakes. And that's already going to take up everything. So I don't want to put anything else in there. Just boosting the crucial parts to their maximum performance. And that should all work well for us. We'll want to adjust this uh, periodically. We'll just pause and take another look. And you know, 49 minutes afterwards. So we're just going to continually wanting to adjust that bit by bit. And we will get most of the improvement on these parts. You can see the brakes already up from 420 to 429.
And here's some other races. Munich in the GT Challenger going by. Let's get that suspension done, take another look then. Um, but of course we're going to want to build a new one. No component there. See, we've got plus 40 to max. Um, these risk level ones we're not going to want. The red zone is going to be a big one for us. We're going to want this. And that's a long one, but we're going to want that too. So we're going to want at least three. And let's see what happens. And this is going to be locked. So I think that we just want the three. Because we're not going to want plus reliability minus speed. Forget about that. So I think we're going to want these three right here. So we need to build this as another test one. And then after this one comes in, it's going to take a long time but um, with the plus five days thing. But we're going to want to put those three into two new suspensions. So I'm thinking about the middle of the season is when we're going to get these actually out on the track. And look at us, number one now. Oh, oh, we're still third, even though we're like barely blind behind Atsuno and Hammer. And we've got more work to do anyway. Okay. And able to tick this down just that one little bit more. Oh, we have a problem. Let's take a look at Munich first, 43 laps, 3 miles, fairly average or slightly above distance. Brakes are huge here in Munich, and of course we just upgraded ours, and we're working on improving them, so everybody's going to be happy about that. Soft and medium tires. Server problems. Chairman wants us to upgrade the servers. And, you know, we sort of have the money to afford it, but I don't think we need to worry about the chairman happiness. Because that's the only consequence here, is that the chairman's uh, not going to be happy. And you can see that he's just, you know, he's as happy as happy can be. So we can afford to take the hit. That's a nice thing about... Uh, really being on top of making him happy is that we can afford this. We'll just go ahead and take the hit. Mia Holgerson excited about our gearbox. In terms of starting the race out of corners and just, you know, acceleration being outstanding for us. Okay, I think I want to check this every three days now. So I want to do it again here. Zero minutes after race, but that is after the race. Let's just do that two hours before. Okay. And then the UKSN is talking about various things. Wolfhagen tipped to have a great time. GMI Insider said they'd be amazed if Mia Holgerson doesn't walk away with a top prize. Glad to hear that. Mia Holgerson also delighted at how the start of the season has gone. And now we're basically, everybody's just saying, look, Wolfhagen's got to win. Wolfhagen's the best. Uh, so that's obviously a good sign for us. Let's see if we can make that hold up on the track. And again, we're going to have to continually be adjusting our pit strategy as we get stronger. Can we? Yes, we can dip it down because it will be eight minutes before the race. And there we go. Reliability work is complete. And now everything's going to be into performance. And of course, we only got a couple weeks left, so probably before the next race after this, we'll actually get that staff center. I don't think that'll be a big help to us, but it might be some. Okay. 
And now for this race, we've got um, an increased value of Wonderluck. Now, if we get first or second in either the race or qualifying, because they give us a bonus to races in Germany that doubles it. Um, so if we manage to do that, then we definitely um, would come out ahead. Because even if we only do one, we get 650k versus the 450 from here. I think our chances of getting first or second in the race are good. So I actually want it for this race. I want to go with the Wonderluck. Could potentially get us some more money. Okay, we're expected to get first with Holgerson. And second with Bags. So that would be outstanding if we could pull that off. The other thing is, it's in the low 20s for practice. Uh, 20 degrees for qualifying. Heavy rain, so be pulling out the wet tires for qualifying it looks like but then it's going to go down to 14 for the race and um, I'd like to have like super softs and what available is only regular softs so we're definitely going to be going with those the mediums you know it's just it's just too cool to want to use those Okay, so let's take a look at our weight stripping. Of course, everything will be the same for both cars. With three crucial parts, we're only going to be able to boost it by 285 this time. Okay, so... Boy, Bags had a good last run, and then others leapfrog, so we end up only in 5th and 7th, and not that big of a distance between them. We are significantly off the pace, though, but really only Hashimoto, Hashimoto and Cruz on competitive up there. See if we can improve this. Crazy often awesome driver lineup this season, Walter Hoffman, you are amazeballs. Yeah, I didn't uh, sign him, and Bags is not crazy awesome, but uh, thanks. And they think that we were lame. Well, let's see. Heavy rain not uh, making itself present, at least yet. We're looking more like partly cloudy, partly sunny at this point. Um, soft tires, you know, and just in case it gets wet, why not take that? And then just the soft tires here. So Lissandro Cruz from Hammer crashing out. Sophie Sevilla from Spartan crashing out. All good news for us there. A couple of our key rivals not getting the job done. And they'll start at the back of the field. And it's saying beautiful weather. So much for the rain. Yep. 18, 19 degrees for qualifying. For the first time, we don't make both drivers into the top half of the field. And it's just another indication how Will Baggs is... He's running a different race than Mia Holgerson now. Mia Holgerson's a contender. Will Baggs is like, I hope I can get some points somehow. Uh, and that's about it. So Hammer has Gabler in first, and that's it. Lori has... Uh, or Lori is in third for Spartan, and then Atsuno has Hashimoto in fourth, and Tanaka in ninth. So it looks like all of us have a driver up near the top. All the top four teams with uh, Parisi from Oberhof also crashing that party. No, uh, no one team really dominating or doing better than than the others. Okay, so we got a little bit of rain for Saturday. Let's see how that sits with our only performer now, Mia Holgerson. Nothing for bags to do. Yuck. So 5th and 11th, definitely our worst qualifying showing. 
Not the best session, but Hoffman will have a good race strategy. Going to be working late to improve for tomorrow. So everybody's like, nope, not giving it up. And great viewing angles from Munich. Okay, we have good weather. It's supposed to be down to 14 degrees, is it? It is. 14 dry as can be. Low track grip to start improving later on. Okay. So, definitely going with the soft tires and the race trim. And, of course, we didn't have any bonuses in qualifying other than the tires. So, there is that. I think we're going for a two, a one-stop start here. Um, well, yeah, probably not. Probably going two stops. Because of, I mean, we're not going to get 22 laps out of this. It's going to be a few less than that, probably. We'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, I don't think I want to carry the fuel for a two-stop, for a one-stop. I want to carry for a two-stop. Okay, so that means I want to get through 15 laps. I think I'd like to do a 15, 14, 14 uh, type of deal. And if you figure we get 10 of them on hybrid... Then we need the fuel for another five. Let's call it seven laps of fuel for Holgerson. Now I'm assuming she's not going to be able to charge at all. I think I can go a little bit lower with bags. I'm going to set him down at 5. And the reason for that is he's not going to be up at the lead. So when he charges, he's actually going to get something out of it. And 5 might, might even be too much, to be frank. So, now the other thing is, yeah... He probably should go with a two-lap, two-stop strategy. Only push for those first couple laps. Yeah, let's do that. So if you want to get to lap 22, I need enough fuel for 12 laps. Yeah, you, you stick with seven as well with the idea that, now go with eight, but the idea is you're going to be able to charge more. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work, but it's what I'm going for. We're going to push for the first couple laps, of course, and then um, Mia's going to come in quite a bit sooner. Bag's going to try to stay out there and see if he can get this done on one stop. So, yeah, Tanaka and Parisi looking pretty good in the front. Um, Rodriguez beside us looking okay. Hashimoto pretty good. But, uh, you know, Holgerson looking as good as any of the top drivers. Well, Lori is right behind him. She's strong. Gabler not so much. Dutt looking good. So a mix of the good and the bad. And then Bags, a little subpar, and we'll see how he does back in the middle of the field. We'll definitely be riding with Holgerson to start, and we'll be going hybrid at the beginning, as always. And Holgerson doing well. Bags gets up to 10th also. Oh, and who is that going wide on the first turn? Looks like it was Hashimoto. It was Hashimoto. So we're up to third and ninth. 
Now fighting for fourth with Hume is uh, Mia Holgerson. And getting the spot, at least for the moment, as we head through this little chicane. Getting to the inside around Parisi. And now we're trying to track down the leader. So that's a heck of a start. Bags now back to 12th. So he's not winning any awards. And look at Holgerson fighting for the lead now. Coming up on the outside is, oh, Tanaka. No, Tanaka didn't get it. I got the cars mixed up for a second. Holgerson is there with the lead after the first lap. And now Tanaka trying to catch with that. Now we've got to go back to neutral on the tires now or we're going to bake them. And uh, when Holgerson does that, she's losing spots. But let everybody else burn up their battery. That's what they really want to do. Let them burn it. Let them have some fun. He's having trouble staying with the more aggressive drivers. As Holgerson did have the lead, but now, I mean, looks like third at best. I'm probably going to lose that spot as we shift down. And one of the things about going with a low fuel strategy is you just can't afford to go for broke. Six. I think I can make another lap, so I'm going to. Hopefully I don't pay a price for this. Gee, gads. You know what, I think I better go low. And then pit. Okay, so... Let's go with our next set. Now how much fuel? We want to get 14 more laps. We're not going to have much battery charge. Not going to plan on getting a bunch of it either. If we have a bunch of, you know, harvesting energy that we get from having sit back further in the pack, then we just use it on the next uh, time around. Let's go with 13. Um, you use it on the final stint is what I mean. Just use that that extra then. But I think here's where we want to be. Yep, 19 seconds stop. Bag should be fine. But here comes Holgerson. Less than half a lap of fuel. why I shifted her to low just to make sure she's got enough to get in there's Lori two seconds behind and not planning on coming in yet so we'll spend some time back and yeah we're definitely made the right move shifting to low out of fuel around the final turn, so we're going to lose a bit of time there. Good pit stop. We'll go medium and push. Bags is up to fourth as he'll come around for his stop. And of course, I don't think he needs as much. He wants to wants to come in about 29. He should be able to do more on hybrid. This will be 16 laps. So I want to get maybe 13, 14 out of this. He should need more than nine, if that. So let's go there.
go ahead and push those tires for the rest of this lap. Boy, Holgerson all the way down to 15th. So, but tops among cars that have come in. Most of the cars just have not done that yet. Since there's nobody in front of you, go neutral. You've got lots of track. Don't push it. Save the pushing for when you need it. And thankfully, Holgerson running great today. She's up to 8.9. I believe she's still the top... Yeah, top form driver in the field. Hashimoto looking good, but had that bad turn at the beginning. Tanaka looking good. Oh, Trenoweth at 9.1, but Trenoweth is not much of a threat. So now both drivers harvesting in 12th and 14th. And Bags is in traffic, so I want to keep him on push. And here's Holgerson uh, down to, again, a little over four laps. We're going to make that final stop. Okay. End of 29. 14 laps to go. 42% charge. I think we're going to need 10 laps of fuel. See if we can make it work work with 9.82. And how much we were able to push on that and everything really going to depend on how far back we are and how much hybrid we get. Bag's more or less going to have just enough hybrid to get around the laps that he needs, I believe. Maybe even not quite enough. We'll watch him closely. Holgerson pushed to the very end. He lost, lost back some time there. Yeah, we're going to run out of hybrids sometime during this lap, but we should have enough to finish. So bags temporarily up to third. 13 laps. Going to be back a little bit further, but not that far. And doesn't have nearly the energy. We'll go with 11. And out comes Holgerson in 12th at the moment. Good grief. Well, we're going to be burning through that fuel for a few laps. Then going hybrid at the end. I'm just not sure. I don't want to push it because I'm not sure where we're at. And we're several seconds behind, so we just want to run solid. Bag's about to come in. And we're the first driver to go in for their second stop. So, don't really know where Holgerson's going to sit till we see who else comes in and when. I honestly thought we'd have more coming in right now. Bag's getting some pressure. Let's push the tires a little bit to get away from that. And Holgerson, go neutral. Because yours are getting a bit baked. Okay, so we're ninth. I'm still waiting to see who all else will come in. Boy, down to just over three laps to go and still not able. I mean, Sevilla's still out there. I can't believe she's going to try to make it around here.
There she goes. Okay, just over a lap. Let's go push on the tires. It's time for that final push from Holgerson. Parts are starting to feel it, but they're not bad. Switch back to neutral here. I said switch back to neutral here. So we are third and fifth at the moment. And still would we yeah, would finish in a big tie for second behind Spartan in the race. And there's that 650k we need. Ahead of Jarita Dutt, who is coming into the pit anyway. Okay. So that's second. Yeah, I should have pushed the tires a little earlier probably here. Maybe gone hybrid. Yeah, I should have gone hybrid a little bit earlier. And there's bags up to fourth. I think that's where we're going to finish. If we finish second and fourth. Yep. <laughs> Spartan beats us by a point. Hammer a point behind. So in other words, not our best race, but not horrible either. You can go ahead and push. But yeah, Lori just Lori just beat us. Just out out drove us and you know just Holgerson, even when she was driving great, could not could not catch up. Let's go ahead and go all out. Well, no, we don't really have the field to go all out, so let's not. Yeah, and even falling further behind now. So Maxime Laurie looked deserved win. Um, you know, and getting bags up in fourth is about as good as we can expect, so just go down to medium here, make sure we get across that finish line. There we go, 0.03. I mean could have done a few things a little bit better, but I don't think we could have beaten Laurie today. Eh, that's okay, I guess. You know, for someone whose, you know, abilities have gone in the tank like yours have, um, and obviously I didn't manage his energy and fuel nearly as well, but um, that's a good showing, Bags. Fourth is good for you. Okay, yeah, 10 seconds behind. The fastest lap goes to Hammer, unfortunately, Lissandro Cruz. Tanaka on the pole, which is fine. They weren't a major rival. And now Lori and Holgerson tied for the points lead. For some reason, Lori getting the um, tiebreaker there and Bags hanging in fifth. We could have a real rivalry developing here. That could be interesting. So yeah, six point lead over Spartan, and then another eight back to Hammer, five more to Atsuno. We're definitely probably going to be driving against Spartan the rest of the way. They gained one point on us here. It's a third of the way through the season. Got double points that last race. Um... Yeah, so we're in solid position, but long ways from home. Spartan is is definitely they're not breathing down our neck, but there's some serious competition there. But 
Blasey, you felt like we could have won it today. Nope. Okay, so more declining uh, skills, of course, for bags. Holgerson seeing some modest gains, but not enough to make any difference uh, this year. And uh, we came second. Um, they were expecting third. So we did boost the happiness back up and got a bit of markability. And then we get the, the nice, nice gain there. That'll definitely help pay for our suspensions. Speaking of which, there's another one built. Okay, so Phoenix is going to be next. Usually hot, almost always fast. Um, so we're into the sort of the speedway part of the series. And much, much that is left to be determined. Can Wolfhanger hold on to this, uh, not that big at all, really, lead at the top? Can we hold off Spartan, or are they going to turn this event in Munich into more of a long-term trend and become a serious threat to take away the title? So that'll be what we're looking at next time. Till then, thanks for watching. Phoenix will be coming up soon.